The Virgin Mary in the Kingdom of the Divine Will Day 18 The Queen of Heaven in the Kingdom of the Divine Will In the House of Nazareth Heaven and Earth are about to exchange the kiss of peace. The Divine Hour is near. The soul to her queen mamma. My sovereign mamma, I am back again to follow your steps. Your love binds me, and like powerful magnet, it keeps me fixed and all intent on listening to the beautiful lessons of my mamma. But this is not enough for me. If you love me as your child, and close me in the kingdom of the divine will, in which you lived and live, and close the doors in such a way that even if I wanted, I would no longer be able to go out. So, as mother and child, we will live common life and will both be happy. Lesson of the Queen of Heaven My dearest child, if you knew how I long to keep you enclosed in the kingdom of the divine will. Each lesson of mine that I give you is fences that it forms to prevent your stepping out, and it is a fortress to wall up your will, that it may comprehend and love being under the sweet empire of the supreme fiat. Therefore be attentive in listening to me because this is nothing other than the work that your mamma does in order to entice and captivate your will and to make the divine will conquer you. Now, my dear child, listen to me. I departed from the temple with the same courage with which I entered it and only to do the divine will. I went to Nazareth and I no longer found my dear and holy parents. I went accompanied only by St. Joseph, and in him I saw my good angel, whom God had given me for my custody, though I had cohorts of angels that accompanied me on the journey. All created things made bows of honor for me, and I thanking them, gave each created thing my kiss and my greeting as queen. And so we arrived at Nazareth. Now you must know that St. Joseph and I looked at each other with modesty, and we felt our hearts swollen, because each one wanted to let the other know that we were bound to God with a vow of perennial virginity. Finally, silence was broken, and we both manifested our vow. Oh, how happy we felt, and thanking the Lord, we protested to live together as brother and sister. I was most attentive in serving him. We looked at each other with veneration, and the dawn of peace reigned in our midst. Oh, if all would reflect themselves in me by imitating me. I adapted myself very much to the ordinary life. I let nothing appear outside of the great seas of grace that I possessed. Now, listen to me, my child. In the house of Nazareth, I felt ignited more than ever, and I prayed that the divine word would descend upon her. The divine will which reigned in me did nothing but invest all my acts with light, with beauty, with sanctity, with power. I felt it was forming the kingdom of light within me, but a light that constantly arises. The kingdom of beauty sanctity and power that always grows. So all the divine qualities which the divine fiat extended within me with its reigning brought me fecundity. The light that invaded me was so great that my very humanity would remain so embellished 
and invested by this son of the divine will, that it would do nothing but produce celestial flowers. I felt heaven lowering itself down to me, and the earth of my humanity rising, and heaven and earth embraced, reconciled, to exchange the kiss of peace and of love. The earth disposed itself to produce the seed in order to form the just one, the holy one, and heaven opened to let the word descend into the seed. I would do nothing but descend and ascend to my celestial fatherland and throw myself into the paternal arms of my celestial father, saying to him with the heart, Holy Father, I cannot endure any longer. I feel inflamed. And while I burn, I feel a powerful strength within me that wants to conquer you. With the chains of my love, I want to bind you in order to disarm you, that you may delay no more. But upon the wings of my love, I want to carry the divine word from heaven to earth. And I prayed and cried that he would listen to me. And the divinity conquered by my tears and prayers assured me by saying to me, Daughter, who can resist you? You have one. The divine hour is near. Return to the earth and continue your acts in the power of my volition. And by these... All will be shaken, and heaven and earth will exchange the kiss of peace. But in spite of this, I did not yet know that I was to be the mother of the eternal word. Now, dear child, listen to me, and comprehend well what it means to live of divine will. By living of it, I formed heaven and its divine kingdom in my soul. Had I not formed this kingdom within me, the word could never have descended from heaven to earth. If he descended, it was because he descended into his own kingdom, which the divine will had formed in me. He found in me his heaven, his divine joys nor would the word ever have descended into a foreign kingdom. Ah, no, no. First he wanted to form his kingdom in me, and then descend as victorious into his kingdom. Not only this, but by living all ways of divine will, I acquired by grace that which in God is by nature, the divine fecundity in order to form, without the work of a man, the seed to let the humanity of the eternal word germinate from me. What can the divine will operating in a creature not do? Everything and all possible and imaginable goods. Therefore, May you take to heart that everything be divine will in you, if you want to imitate your mamma, and make me content and happy. The Soul Holy Mamma, if you want, you can. Just as you had the power to conquer God, to the point of making him descend from heaven to earth, you will not lack the power to conquer my will, that it may no longer have life. In you I hope, from you I will obtain everything. Little Sacrifice Today, to honor me, you will make me a little visit in the house of Nazareth, and as homage to me, you will give me all your acts that I may unite them to mine, in order to convert them into divine will. Ejaculatory Prayer 
celestial empress, bring the kiss of the will of God to my soul. You have reached the end of Day 18 of the Virgin Mary in the Kingdom of the Divine Will. Fiat.